Good evening. I'm going to try and be short. I really didn't have a prepared speech because I just learned about this meeting this evening. Um, Mr. Trampy, thank you for your service to the Salem District and uh, representing our interests uh, during your many terms uh, as a Board of Supervisor. Um, there's been a lot of stuff being said tonight um, that I kind of want to address uh, quickly. First of all, I'm a, I'm a veteran, I'm a uh, former Russian interrogator, cryptographer with the Army. I swore the same oath that many of you swore. My father-in-law was a 30-year Marine. He was besties with Chesty, which will mean a lot to you all that have served in the Marines. He went in, in as a Mustanger. He was at Ewo, Cape May, and Cape Gloucester in his service. And I mention him because when I met him, I was a Republican, and he was a hardcore Democrat. And I didn't understand many of the things that he stood for. But as I grew older and wiser, I came to understand what he was, what values he had. So I want to take exception with people saying libs or the left or whatever. We are all neighbors. Okay. And we're all Americans. And you see me wearing a mom's demand action. And so this is kind of a neutral shirt for you all to recognize that mothers in this country have a real problem with the gun violence that's taking place in our schools in this country. I'm going to relay a story to you about, you know, I'll keep it short, um, about uh, an experience I had at Target in Central Park. I'm a former member of the NRA. They kind of lost me with the Teflon-coated bullet stuff back in the day. I couldn't support that. Those were cop killer bullets. And we love, and as Democrats, we love and support our law enforcement. Would that be, no, seriously, we do. No, ser no seriously, we vote. Excuse me, excuse me. We vote. We vote to support our law enforcement and rapid response and SWAT and our military. We do. Many of us have served. But I was at, I was at Central Park. Um, and this guy walked in with a lot loaded 9 millimeter Glock on his hip. And I didn't know what his mental frame was, where, where he was at, whether or not he was safe or whether or not he was a threat. I went to uh, the store management and I asked them, you know, what is the store policy? And they said, well, it's an open carry state, you know, this is the law, they're all entitled to be here. And I said, okay, great. I said, but if I don't feel safe, I, excuse me, excuse me for a second. I, I mean, I get you guys, but if I don't feel safe, I can't, I can't shop here. And 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 here's the thing, I, I don't know what his mental framework is. So here's this. Here's this. I'm going to close. I have 10 seconds left. I want to hold up. I want to hold up a picture. Excuse me, guys. I want to hold up a picture of Ralph Northam. I mean, I'm not Ralph. Excuse me. Of uh, previews. Now, many of you don't know the story with Cree Deeds, but his son was mentally ill and attacked, and they tried to get him into a mental Ma health Ma'am, your time has expired. 